Hello everyone, this is Bill Apter. Welcome into Apter's Alley. This is, as you notice, no tie, just kind of hanging out. Uh, if you're starting your weekend or week, just figure there's a, a bunch of things I'd like to uh, unrehearsed, just kind of uh, want to talk to you about. I want to thank everybody that keeps saying, where are more Apter's Alleys? Where are your editorials? We're going to be doing uh, more and more of them, especially as one guy in Germany, his name is Dirk. D-I-R-K, and he keeps asking me about more Aptor's Alleys. So this one is also for you. But he sent me a correction where, uh, and, and I apologize for this, and I've got to make good on this right now, is that we were talking about the only existing pro wrestling magazines uh, currently, and I mentioned Pro Wrestling Illustrated and Fighting Spirit Magazine, and then uh, I believe there's one in... Italy, um, one in uh, um, somewhere, well, one in Japan, of course. Uh, but what I forgot about, and I don't know how, because I actually, I did a column for them for many years, was uh, power wrestling in uh, Germany. And my good friend Wolfgang, who is the, uh, the man behind it all, so my apologies. It's a great magazine, so uh, uh, make sure you Google it and pick it up. And if you can't read... German, just look at the pictures. It's a great magazine. So in the mail today, I haven't seen this yet, and I can't wait to see it. The Ultimate Warrior, the WWE uh, 3 DVD set, deals with everything in his career. And that is very interesting. I read the back of it. It says, after a long period of exile from sports entertainment, they talk about him. So uh, uh, this has got to be uh, really, really good. Again, it's a 3 DVD set. I can't wait to watch this. Thank you, WWE, for sending this to me and uh, always believe. Well, you won't believe this. I was cleaning out the back of Aptor's Alley and just the same day that that came, look what I found. I found my original WWE Superstars uh, figure of the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, uh, all right, let's uh, move on. ECW Press, by the way, which is the company that will be putting out my book in October. I don't know if you can see this, if it's big enough for you to see, but here, let me just see if, if this is actually large enough for you to see. If not, you can enlarge it. Is wrestling fixed? I didn't know it was broken. When is it coming out? If you can see it, it's October 2015. You can pre-order it at your favorite um, bookseller online. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, ECW down there is the... Uh, I think you can see that now. Uh, so, uh, this is it. And again, if you have bad eyes and you can't see this, um, I'm awfully sorry. Hellboy's Guy Body Slam Autism. Jimmy Cicero, wise guy Jimmy Cicero, uh, find him on Facebook. Um, he was down here a few nights ago in the alley. We'll be running that next week, depending upon when you're watching this. Anyway, ECW Press sent me this great book by Tim Hornbaker, and uh, it's called Capital Revolution. Get a look at this. And it's the story of the whole McMahon empire, and you can see my bookmark. So I'm almost done with it. And I've known the McMahons like most of my professional career and lots of dealings mainly with Vince Senior and uh, I'm learning stuff about uh, the McMahons that uh, I didn't know so it's a, a great book again put out by ECW Press um, let's get to some more uh, some more news I just have some notes here um, we talked about the Warrior DVD the McMahon book the uh, 50th anniversary of the Cauliflower Alley Club took place this past week. And again, this is just informal, so I don't have pictures or anything here, but I want to thank all the people um, that got awards and wondered where I was. I had a uh, destination wedding. Craig Peters, who used to uh, work with me at PWI, his daughter got married, so we were there, and I have an entertainment event that I'm hosting in New York, so just couldn't get there this year. But I want to thank each and every person that asked for me, number one, but number before one is I want to congratulate all the award winners. Now, I rather than go down every category, we'll do another one on this. I'm gonna we'll go down the names. 
Diamond Dallas Page, Jerry Briscoe, Wes Briscoe, his son, uh, Dennis Brent. Congratulations, Dennis Brent, for getting the, uh, uh, the Journalism Award. About time. Um, Christopher Daniels, uh, Len Denton, grappler there, uh, Sin Bodhi, um, Malaya Hosaka, uh, Lisa Marie Verone, oops, uh, Tara, Victoria, Jimmy, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, manager of the year, um, Terry Funk, yeah, Terry Funk got the real award for all the great stuff he's done, done Din, yeah, that he's done in the uh, Hollywood movies there. So congratulations to all the people at Cauliflower. Happy 50th anniversary. I will be there for 51. You have my word. B. Brian Blair. They had puts it all together with this great team. I will be there. And they, one of the great things that they've had forever for the past 50 years at Cauliflower is the Bologna Blowout. And they have now changed it to the Bachwinkle Blowout in uh, honor of past president Nick Bockwinkle. Okay, um, before we go, uh, Extreme Rules, WWE pay-per-view, where you can see on the WWE Network for only nine ninety nine everything. I mean, it's just, I showed wise guy Jimmy Cicero of the WWE Network. He lives out in the boondock somewhere. He can't get streaming video, so he may have to move to somewhere where he can get streaming video. Anyway, some great matches uh, as of press time here. John Cena against Rusev in a Russian chain match. And I wonder if Rusev has been calling Ivan Koloff and Nikita Koloff for uh, some advice on that. Um, it will be um, world champion Seth Rollins against Randy Orton in a cage match. And the RKO has been banned. Randy Orton, what are you going to do, man? Got to find another way to win. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship, Wade Barrett against champion Daniel Bryan. And as of press time, uh, there's some stuff going around that Bryan is uh, injured, so hopefully he'll be able to uh, um, appear for that. Uh, the Divas title, Nikki Bella against Paige. Um, th this will be a the very first Kiss My Arse, A-R-S-E, PG. Uh, match between uh, Dolph Ziggler and Sheamus. And I, I, this may be related to the club that Mr. McMahon used to, uh, uh, used to run, uh, but we're not going to go into that right now. And then it will be uh, Roman Reigns against the Big Show in a last man standing match. So that's it. That's a casual no-tie update. Um, don't forget, I still... Um, work for Fighting Spirit Magazine. Um, so make sure you pick up a copy of Fighting Spirit Magazine. And once again, um, just in case you didn't see it the first time, the book comes out in October. And also, I listen, I'm really flattered by this. Pro Wrestling Tees has uh, signed me for a um, uh, See You at the Matches, uh, drawn by my friend Vincent Is Valentine uh, t-shirt. So if you go to Pro Wrestling Tees, don't search Bill Apter, search Apter's Alley. That's it. Uh, I'm going to close up the alley right now. Uh, Lexi Rose, the uh, Apter's Alley doggy, needs some uh, some walking. Have a great few days till the next uh, alley, which probably be a shirt and tie, but once in a while we're going to do it just hanging out this way. It's Bill Apter, and uh, I'll see you at the matches.